Hello everyone, this is a really quick video looking at the audio event window in Cubase. So I've just imported anything, I haven't even heard what this is, but it's a vocal line. Um, if you're using F5 to bring up your media bay, as long as you've got um, here Beats Aligned Project highlighted, when you um, double click on your audio it will actually sync it in time to your um, DAW project but this is how the um, audio events window looks just a square box now whenever you hover over these can you see we have oh what have I done there sorry whenever we hover over an audio event in fact what I might do first of all go up to color I'm going to make him red just to make it a bit more obvious so whenever you hover over any audio event you get the boxes in each corner up here now the top left is a simple fade in and fade out so which can be really cool if you want to um, fade your audio event in and likewise the direct opposite you've got fade out on the top right hand side this is a really cool one at the top in the middle you've got clip gain so if your audio event you want to change the actual um, the level of your audio there you can bring him down the clip gain the gain of your audio if you take it back to the top that's what it is originally so if you need to lower you can do it there now another cool feature can you see just on the right hand side you've got this little box here if you left click on that and then just drag to the right hand side that's a quick way of duplicating your audio event so it literally appears just on the right hand side of the middle now one other thing you can do is actually change if you wanted to sort of cut out just a section at the beginning or end of your audio event you can use this the bottom left and bottom right the problem is I can't at the moment because I've set my snap to a bar but if I set it now to quantize at the top here it's now going to snap to a sixteenth of a bar because I've got use quantize and one sixteenth now if I wanted just to cut out the first sixteenth of that bar or the second and likewise you can do so or again at the end so say we wanted to cut the last sixteenth and then do a fade we can do that or of course you can work in much freer increments so we could go to instead of 1 16th we could click on my computer wasn't laggy 132 etc or don't forget we can take snap off completely by clicking this snap button here or J is the shortcut on the keyboard now with um, snap off I can really be much more precise about where I'm going to start this audio event and finish my audio event and don't forget the fade in and fade out so that's really handy so that's the audio event window